So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the bed and try to get it as flat as possible. I want a flat surface so that way there's no pockets that if it does rain and get saturated that it's not going to wash all the seeds into that one pocket. Once you get it done, we're going to take them wet down the space that you think that the seeds are going to occupy. I then use an app on my phone. I've actually pre-planned my garden for the whole year. Hold on just a minute. So I pre-planned my garden for the whole year. And this is a list of gardens that I have. And the one I'm working on today is bed seven, which is salad. And I click on bed seven and it shows me what I need to plant, where I need to plant it at. So I basically have this first row is going to be like onions and then I've got carrots and radishes and lettuce going in here. So let me just go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the carrots here on this end where I got the camera at because it don't really matter which end I put them at as long as they're kind of in that same order. I've already got the seeds that I'm going to be planting. These come out of the freezer. This is actually a new variety of carrot that I'm trying this year called Karata. And I'm going to use the seedling square to help me plant them because I love how this thing works. So carrots are 16 seeds per square. This first right here on the edge is a four by four. I can't put the seedling square all the way down, but I try to do the best that I can. Carrots are generally a shallow hole. Again, it looks like I'm pushing it down a lot deeper than I really am. But that's because the best thing about the seeding square is this little seed dropper. Basically put some seeds in a little thing right there. And then I just drop them into the hole. And you can get really good at just getting one seed in these holes. I usually do two. Sometimes I might do three by accident. All right, so once I've got the first square done, I use the lines to just line it up and do the next square. Now I'm not gonna do anything with the holes yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant onions right next to it. So I'm just gonna keep going. Now I got two different kinds of lettuce. One's a head lettuce, the other one's a loose leaf. The head lettuce is one every 12 inches and the loose leaf is one every six inches. So after this head lettuce, I will have used half of a four by eight bed. 
slightly more than a half. It's actually five rows out of eight. What I'll end up doing is I'll come back in about two weeks and I'll plant more carrots and onions and lettuce, but because I'll have the head lettuce, I'll probably do more romaine and not head lettuce the next time. So that'll be the three things. Carrots, onions, romaine lettuce next time. I'm not huge on spinach, so uh, that'll be pretty good to finish out this bed, but I'll wait about two weeks. That way I don't have all my salad stuff come and do at the same time. All right, one final thing. I told you I would show you how to keep the birds from eating your seeds and how to keep the rain from washing it away. So the first thing we want to do is go back and just make sure there's a little bit of soil over these holes. You can see them plain as day where I poked them at. That's the first thing we want to do. So here's the trick for the next part. You need either cardboard or something similar. I usually use cardboard. You can see it just about almost covers all those rows. It's lacking a little bit. So let me go get some more cardboard. But this is basically the secret. So let me tell you about this cardboard. When it rains, the cardboard is going to shield your seeds to keep the water from washing your seeds away or causing them all to get washed into the lowest point of your garden. And then you're gonna have like a clump of cucumbers that big around with 400 seeds in it. So that's one thing it solves. Birds can't come in here and pick, peck through the cardboard to get to the seeds. The second thing that it solves, and the third thing that it solves is cucumbers in particular have to stay moist the whole entire time they are sprouting. If you don't keep them moist, they'll never, ever, ever sprout. So by covering up with something, that keeps the water from evaporating. But... Unlike boards that I see a lot of people using on YouTube, the cardboard actually allows the rain to soak into the cardboard, and then once it gets enough rain, it'll start seeping through the cardboard, but not at a rate that's actually going to affect the seeds. So that's why I prefer to use cardboard instead of wood. Those are the tips I got for you today. I'm also getting ready to plant garlic here in a little bit and uh, maybe some onions. I haven't decided yet, but that's what I got going on today. Follow-up video on my carrots and radishes. As you can see, looky there. We got carrots coming up. It does work. Hope you enjoyed watching this. As always, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your homesteads.